Hi, kindergarten. Welcome back to math this week. We are working on adding and subtracting out in the real world. So when we have to put things together in the real world, we're adding. And if something is goes away, we have, to, we have to sell it or it breaks or it pops or we eat it, it goes away, we're subtracting. Okay. Today we're gonna focus on adding in the real world. So I'm gonna give you some stories and you're gonna be coming up with some stories on how to put things together and add them. Okay, so for instance, if I have an awesome tree and this tree has a big long branch like this, okay, with some leaves on it. Let's say it has some birds sitting on there. One, two, three, four, five, six birds on that branch. And let's say there's three birds that are flying in the air. How many birds do we have all together? There are the birds on the branch. We said that was six birds. And there are three up in the air. How many do we have all together? And I want you to write an equation. If you have your whiteboard, you can do that now. So if we're putting them together, that's going to be addition. So we're gonna have six birds on the branch and plus three birds in the sky that means we have nine birds all together. Okay. So six, and I usually say the bigger number if I know it. So I know this one's six, so six, and then I keep counting. Six, seven, eight, nine. We get nine birds. But another strategy is you can use a number line like you're on your ruler or make your own number line. You can dr just draw a picture and count it. Use the strategy that works for you. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's say that, who loves robots? Tyson, right? Okay, let's say Tyson has one, two, three, four, five robots in his room, and he has two robots in his toy box. So we have five over here and two over here. How many robots does he have in all? Well, again, we're gonna put them all together, so we're gonna be adding, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five over here, one, two over here. So I'm gonna write five plus two equals five, six, seven. Okay, if you're using your number line, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would look like this. We'd start at five, and then we're gonna hop forward, because we're plus, we're getting bigger, two hops. One, two. And where did we end? At seven. Okay, so these are all strategies that are things that you can try to solve the problem. Let's see, how about this one? Let's say I have a big leaf out in the garden. There's my leaf. And my leaf has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ladybugs. Oh, they are cute. So I have eight over here. And then over on this leaf, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six ladybugs. And my question is, how many ladybugs are there all together? Well, if we're putting them together, what are we gonna do? Add, so we have eight over here and six more equals eight. I say my big number, eight, and I keep counting. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And again, you can also use your number line. Start at eight and hop. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, eight plus six is 14. Who remembers how to do the turnaround fact? See if you can write that down on your whiteboard. What's the turnaround fact? Eight plus six equals 14. 
Turn the numbers around. So what is six plus eight? If we started with our six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It still equals 14, okay? You guys know what to do. Okay. So today, I want you to practice your addition word problems. I'm gonna give you some equations up here. And on your whiteboard, I want you to write down the equation and I want you to solve it and see if you can make a video and come up with a story that goes with your equations, all right? So let's say we're gonna give you three plus five. What does that equal? Okay. How about six plus four? How about, well, that got wonky. Let me rewrite that one so it's a little straighter. Six plus four. How about two plus seven? How about nine plus eight? And how about five plus six? See if you can solve those for me. Write down the equations on your whiteboard or on a piece of paper. And you can use little coins or counters or beans, anything you want to make a picture. You can draw the picture on your whiteboard. You can use your number line, whatever you want. Solve them for me and put the whole equation with the, with the answers, the sums. When we're adding, we call the answers a sum. Write the sums, try to come up with stories that go with them, okay? And remember, you can always pause the video to write these down. See you tomorrow.